In today's Madden 21 video, I'm going to be showing you a nice little under center formation that's really, really effective uh, as a quick passing formation in Madden 21. What's up, guys? Welcome. My name is Cody. I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time watching my video today, I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch today's video, and I hope you get something out of it. My channel focuses in on helping people get better at Madden 21 through offensive and defensive tips every single day on YouTube. We post videos at 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So if you are interested, go ahead and click that subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. All right, guys, so I'm in the West Coast playbook, and I actually really wanted to talk about this single back spread. This is something that I have been running for years, but I really have never really broken down in depth. Um, and I just wanted to take the time today to kind of talk about some of the quick passing options that you can have, um, how to pick up some of the pressures. We talked about that um, in a couple videos ago about how to pick up pressure from under center. You can use the same basic concepts Um from this from this single back spread offense here so really really good formation in my opinion we're going to jump right in and show you how to break down this play now the the offensive the, the reason you call a single back spread in my personal opinion is for these three plays right here but the one that we're going to primarily focus in on is deep outs and there's a lot that you can do with this formation as you see here the alignment is really effective it's just basically a nice two by two what i like about it is you can flip it and it doesn't change anything for your receivers it just flips it and the, the defense doesn't have any there's no tell that you've changed the play which is something i really like about it now um from a quick passing perspective what i really like a lot of people what you'll see them run is that you'll get a lot of this um when you're running this offense you'll get a lot of this right here you'll get a lot of um Mabel coverage basically so essentially something um essentially something like like this okay so some type of of um of Mabel coverage you know so it could be something like this right and they're going to use her this this middle guy what i like about this um this play right here is it absolutely kills Mabel coverage it's a quick snap throw um and basically what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna look at gronkowski and if nobody jumps at Gronkowski at the snap of the ball, I can throw that ball with a low pass. So literally, low ball right there, and you see it's an instant five to seven yards. Could be more if you rack catch it, okay? And what you're going to find out is this is going to work against hard flats. It's going to work against anything, really. That's It's honestly probably going to work against most zone coverages in general, but it really does a good job against the Mabel coverages that you're going to see. So what that's going to do is it's going to force them to call something like this out of Tampa 2. But what you'll notice is even out of Tampa 2, he eventually gets open. He's just not quite open at the snap of the ball, okay? So what the other thing that you can do from this is you can take your slot receiver on the left side, and you can experiment a little bit with smart routing this route. Now, this is a very effective route in my opinion um, just because of the, the where it gets in the, in the field. As you see right here, it gets – basically behind those yellow zones. So if they're playing underneath yellow zones on you, then you can attack the middle of the field um, with this route to Chris Godwin. So you see here, play underneath yellow zones to stop him, but that's gonna leave that little post route over the top right there to Chris Godwin wide open. The other thing that you can do is, let's say they blitz you, right? Um, you'll get a lot of that. If you're running this offense, you'll get a lot of pressure. So what I would recommend is blocking the running back pretty much 90% of the time when you're in this formation, unless they're just consistently dropping people. And then you always wanna slide your line to the side that they have slid their line. So if they slide their line to the left um, to set up pressure, then we're gonna slide our line to the left, okay? And that's gonna help pick up the pressure. But basically, um, if, they're in, if they're in cover three or cover four on the outside, you'll find that these little out routes will do a pretty good job um, we'll do a pretty good job against those coverages. So even if they're, you know, as long as they're not playing, you know, 20 yard purples, which in this example they are, and I want to show you that you can actually um, occasionally hit these with those 20 yard purples. So you'll see here like Mike Evans, hard outside pass lead. And as you can see, he's going to get to a spot on the field that even those 20 yard purples won't cover. So Mabel coverage doesn't stop this. Um, that's the beauty of it. Now you see right there, Jair Alexander has a ability. He has like deep out elite. Um, that does do a decent job. And if you just smart route the out route to make them go a little bit shorter, just make sure that they go super, super shallow. Then what you'll find is you can kind of low ball them and get them to them as you can see right there. So just experiment with these out routes. I think these, these stock out routes are really, really good. 
Um, most people aren't really running stock out routes this year, but um, from what I can see in this playbook, they actually work really, really well because you can get the ball out so quick and you can hit them on the cut. Okay, and we're going to have another play for you today. If you guys want to come back at four o'clock, we're going to have another play that we're going to break down um, and we're going to show you why it's going to force them basically um, to like come up. So they're going to have to come up. They're not going to be able just to, to basically let their acrobats do their thing um, on this. So the next thing that we're going to look at in this play um, is what does it do against cover two, right? So the real thing to me that this play is going to draw is it's going to draw them to run cover two. As you see on those, these out routes are not quite as open against cover two um, because the cornerback is obviously just sitting out there waiting for it, waiting for it. Um, you'll see here on the right side, probably going to be a little bit worse because Alexander is so good. Yep. So if they run cover two, you've got to have a plan um, in place for if you get that coverage because you will get that coverage, I 100% guarantee you. And that's where these routes over the middle really come in handy. Um, and what I like to do is basically against most cover twos, you're going to hit that route right there. Almost every time if they run some kind of cover two on you, you're going to hit Gronkowski. But if they if they run cover two on you um, and they try to user Gronkowski, then you're going to notice that it's going to leave a void open in the back end here. So if they jump to Gronkowski, you can hit this route to Godwin right over the middle as an easy read. So you have those those windows in that situation. Now, what about man coverage? You might be asking, well, what if they just blitzed you out of man coverage? That's going to that's gonna basically lock this thing down. Not so. Um, these out routes, I'm telling you, um, they do really, really good. As you can see right there, that's man coverage, and Mike Evans just cooks him. Um, I think there's something with the specific stock out routes that I think stock out routes this year are much better than hot routed out routes. They just get better separation. I mean, Scotty Miller is like a 70. I don't even know what his overall is. He's not a highly rated player. And he's like darn near catching this every single time on Jair. So you'll see J J and Jair is activating. His acrobat's going crazy. Everything that he has is, is going crazy, right? So just be aware that like you can kind of throw these things. Um, and if you don't want to run, if you only one little rule of thumb that you could use with this, if you wanted to, is you could run basically a curl route if you wanted to, to the weak side of the field and the out route to the wide side of the field. That's another thing that you could do that's relatively, you know, simple, but really does a good job. Now, what about shaded coverage outside and over top? You might be asking about that. Um, I think it does the out routes do better. Uh, against that coverage because when they press an out route I think it helps the defense significantly when the out route gets pressed so if the out route doesn't get pressed right and they're shading their coverage back then what you're going to see is um, basically these out routes are available for low balls as you can see right there so you know relatively you're going to have a decent time uh, throwing these out routes another thing is if they shade coverage your snap throw will be wide open so if this guy doesn't get pressed which he typically doesn't um, typically doesn't get pressed from this. And that's why I like against man coverage. I always have this little read. I always, 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 always have this read right here to Rob Gronkowski at the snap of the ball. He has, if he has inside position, you throw the ball right then every time, every time. And literally like it's going to be hard for them to stop it. Um, one of the things they might do to try to stop this is they might try to drop like a lineman in coverage. And I just want to show you this. So if they drop this lineman in coverage, you see he's going to cover him initially, but he's not going to cover him all the way across. So that's where that read is like multifaceted, multi-window that you can be able to hit that. So, but but seriously, like this play, it's really simple to run. Um, it's got really nice progressions, I think. You know, and again, this little post route is really really effective against man. So if they, you know, if they every route on the play beats man, which I really like about this play. Um, and the, the, the beauty of it is that if they, you know, all of them beat man in different ways. So for example, let's say they do something like this, right? Let's say they do that coverage right there. Okay. And they're shading over top and outside. Watch Chris Godwin. He's going to beat man, going to beat man, going to beat man. And he's going to have a chance to one play touchdown that meta man to man coverage, right? If they don't use him. 
Most of the time they will use him. Okay, be aware of that. Most most of the time they will use her Chris Godwin. But then that gives you an opportunity to hit this route right here. So um, that is the single back spread, deep outs play, one of my favorite plays of all time in Madden. I think it's still just as effective as it was back in Madden 13. And if you want to kind of mix this in with some of the far tight stuff that we released, if you want to pick up our full far tight slot scheme uh, from the West Coast Playbook, there's a two hour video that I did on the far tight slot um, that you can pick up completely for free. All you got to do is text me. My number is 812-216-3644. Also by texting in, um, you'll be able to get access to a lot, of others, a lot of our other schemes as well, like the Big Nickel Over G, Gun Bunch, uh, Gun Trips or U trips, different things like that. So go ahead and shoot me a text if you want to pick that stuff up. But I want to thank you guys for watching today's video. If you have any questions about this tip in general, uh, just shoot me a text message. Thanks for uh, watching.